Argyle Down Station holds a special place in the history of WA. It was settled in 1882 by Patrick Durack, who completed the world's longest cattle drive. But the original Argyle homestead had to be rebuilt on higher ground in 1979, when the Ord River was dammed, creating Lake Argyle. Now it's an iconic museum which is celebrating its 40th anniversary, with over 60 Durack descendants attending. The government acknowledged the Duracks for their accomplishments and for recognising the important role the Indigenous people played in the development of the pastoral industry. This is the round yard where we drafted all these cattle. The relationship between the traditional owners here in the East Kimberley and the Durack family, as we've seen through books written, uh, has been very close. The pastoral's journey, the traditional owner journey, inevitably overlap and coincide and uh, that's what we're celebrating today. Perpetua Durack Clancy presented an updated family tree which now includes 760 descendants. The original, created in 1959, only had about 40 names. The most comprehensive record of a of a Kimberley family, writing history anew, that's what we're doing, and writing history in two senses of the words, writing it and, and writing it, correcting it. Aboriginal members of the family are now included. I think it's significant because it's a very practical, hands-on uh, example of reconciliation. It was entirely the family coming together to talk and to engage and to acknowledge uh, each other. It's a narrative that belongs to both sides. And in another sign of reconciliation, the government has announced the Crown land housing the homestead will now be managed by the Mirawong Gajarong Corporation. We're just reinforcing how non-Aboriginal and Aboriginal people can work together and celebrating the different styles we all see things in our culture. Vicky Burek, GWN 7 News.